Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for checking in and just seeing what I'm up to and seeing what kind of things I've created. So today I have a cute little simple and yummy breakfast concept idea. It's one of those things that you could just grab and go. It's literally like a cupcake for breakfast. So, you know, nobody has time to really cook these days. It's like you're always trying to get to something. You got to get to work. You got to get to activities, take the kids to school, pick them up. Like you're just we need stuff that saves time. So with this little pastry, you can prep it the night before, kind of like cut your veggies the night before. You can prep your potatoes, different things like that, just to get it moving faster. And in the morning, while everyone sleeps, pop it in the oven. And then when they wake up, it's ready. So stay tuned while we go over this. Okay, so here's the supplies needed for the breakfast cupcakes. On the left, I have all the seasonings have some dried parsley, some Lari's seasoning salt, garlic and onion powder, white pepper, and crushed red peppers, um, about a third cup of milk, some shredded cheese, six eggs, potatoes that were actually left over from yesterday, so I just roasted some potatoes in the oven. And that's how they look right there. I had a bunch left over, so I figured I'd save it for this breakfast. And then, if you guys watch my videos, cooking videos, you know that I like a lot of like colorful medley. So here I have tomatoes, orange peppers, onions, green onions, and more peppers on the end. So I already um, used the whisk and kind of whipped up my eggs. Now I'll go ahead and cook my um, sausage. So you'll also need a skillet for that. Now of course you'll season it to your liking. Um, we like seasonings in my family. I don't like my food to be bland. And I also like a little kick. So that's why I have those crushed red peppers. So once the skillet gets hot, I will put my sausages in and then I'll saute my veggies and then we'll get moving. Oh yeah, you'll also need a cupcake pan or tray. Now I like to make my sausages, like cook them well done. So this is how they look now. They're pretty well done. So I'm just going to drain these. And you can save some of the drippings if you want to saute your veggies or you can use like olive oil or butter. I saved some of the drippings of my um, sausage. So now I'll just toss all my veggies in and saute till they're pretty translucent. And I do have a lot of them because I want some in every bite. To go. You want them to have a little crunch so you don't want to overcook them. Before you take off, take out your veggies, you want to put a little seasoning. So. I'm just putting a little of my onion and onion and garlic peppers. A little of my Lari's seasoning. And then some parsley. Let's put this off to the side. If the kids have somewhere to be or your husband, these veggies will get them up. They will smell the seasoning, the garlic, the onions. They'll wake up. I have my potatoes right here. I need to chop them down a little smaller. They were larger from yesterday because yesterday we were just doing, we just had regular breakfast potatoes. All right, so my potatoes are smaller now. I'll just put those back in the container while I prepare everything else. My sausage is drained. They're broken up into smaller pieces now. I'll um, break up them more if it's a little bit too big for the cupcakes. We have our veggies, potatoes, sausage, and our eggs and cheese. You want to pour a little milk into your eggs just so they're fluffy and they expand a little bit. mix those up a bit. Now let's assemble our breakfast cupcakes. You want to use the largest cupcake liners you can find. And you probably should do two cups. 
her cupcake. I like to put cheese in the eggs now and then also at the end. So just a handful of cheese inside. So first, one layer of potatoes. Just a couple at the bottom. These potatoes are already cooked from yesterday. So if you are using like a frozen bag of potatoes, just make sure you cook those a bit. Go ahead and layer in your veggies now. The veggies in. Smells so good already. Remember the oven is already preheated. Got the veggies on in. Now let's put some sausages. Sprinkle in your sausages right on top of your veggies. You're just kind of layering everything in like a lasagna. And then you'll seal it with your eggs. And then pop them in the oven and let them do their thing. I'm gonna use a measuring cup with the little spout on it. That makes it easier to pour. Now just pour your eggs in until it covers it. Just like that. Top it with more cheese if you like. But I have them filled up with the mixture and the eggs. I'll just sprinkle cheese on top. For aesthetics, you can put a little parsley just for a better presentation. And then now just put them in the oven. Let's check and see if they are done. You'll start to notice they're done when they're starting to poof up and kind of double in size. So there's mine. You see the oil on the sides from the cheese and the sausage kind of oozing so they're really cooked well. You can stick a toothpick through them just like you do your regular cupcakes. So we're gonna let that cool a bit. I think I cooked them about 12 minutes or so, 12 minutes, and then I put some extra cheese on top because we like a lot of cheese on ours. All right, so let's see if we can get them out. So you want, you might wanna use a knife to kind of get them out, kind of break it up a little bit because on this one, the cheese kind of spilled out and baked to the side. It's still very warm, so I'm just being cautious. All right, I'll take it up. Look how cute it is. <laughs> All right, let's cut into it. Oh, it's hot. Let me get some tongs, guys. I hope it's ready, because this is a live, actual video. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, oh my God, it looks so good. It's like a scrambled egg inside. I don't want to mess it up too much because I'm eating this, but it's ready. Let me zoom in to show you. Look at that smoke coming out. So it's still a little too hot to kind of grab and go with it, but if you're up early, you'll have time to get this ready. Look at that. It almost reminds you of an omelet. Now you can even put some salsa on there, but yeah, you want to let it cool completely. And usually I wouldn't cut it open, but that was for the sake of the video. All right, guys, so let me give you another close-up. This is how they look. Delicious, smell delicious. I have a lot left, so I can make another batch if I want. But I'll be back later today because I am making a tri-tip on the grill. And I'll probably just sit out there and chat with you guys and make some tri-tip. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy.